Hey Thumpers, welcome back to another film review from Hyper RPG. Today we are here to review The Fate of the Furious. Yo, we, wah, wah, wah. we fucked up. We should have had Coronas. We messed yeah. up. So, <laughs> yes, we did. Oh, man. Oh, well. it's okay. uh, I'm Adam Lavick and I'm joined here with... Cameron Rice. And Hector Navarro. So this is the eighth installment in the Fast and Furious franchise. Mm -hmm. Timeline-wise, I guess this would fall somewhere. I don't know. This would technically be like the seventh movie because Tokyo Drift takes place like at a later point. No, no. I think this is still the eighth. Because, because, no, because this is the eighth. Yeah, because uh, Tokyo, Tokyo Drift, Drift is happens in between uh, six, and, six seven. and seven. Six and seven. Yeah. That's seven right, opens with right. Han's funeral. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we go from there. Um, but yeah, I think that we were trying yeah, the to do timeline the timeline is correct now. Check out this math. Well, first of all, when people say that uh, they didn't take that into account, the only inconsistency in Tokyo Drift taking place after Fast and Furious 6 mm -hmm. is that they still use flip phones in Tokyo Drift right. because that movie mm -hmm. came out in 2006. Right. I've been told that Japan is still very fond of flip phones, even in the modern day. So, like, that still checks out. <laughs> it's still legit. I can see that. It's still I can legit. Totally see and that. then, okay, here's another thing we have to take into account Brian O'Connor and Mia had yeah. a kid. That she got pregnant in Fast Five. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fast Six rolls around. It's a baby. Fast Seven. He's like four, five, right. going to kindergarten. Yeah. Cars don't fly, Daddy. Right. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna get into some spoilers, obviously, for Fate of the Furious. Well, I think the, the timeline is a is a funny thing because it's a, a funny thing. There's thing about Fast Seven is like it feels like simultaneously it's supposed to take place like a month after Six. Yeah. But yet, not it's, because it's of the like, kid. Because of the kid. Because so the kid. some time has passed. Yeah. But you know what? To me. I'm okay with this. Is I'll tell you right now. I love this series. I love this series. <laughs> Same, because it Same. is. Same. That is a. If anyone watches daytime soaps, if you grew up with a mom who watched daytime soaps, <laughs> oh my god, that is some soap opera shit where someone is a baby and yeah. the next week you come back and they're it's a high like, schooler. Yeah, and I'm not. That's not horse shit. They're literally a high schooler because yeah. they're like, we want new storylines. So now this person that was a baby a week ago is now a it's, high, it's, in high school. It's uh, comic book soap operas. Yep, this scene is. This way. whole series is full of soap opera moments. Yeah. Characters coming back from the dead. Characters betraying one another. Amnesia. Like, and on top of that, it just ended up becoming the most amazing and entertaining action franchise in Hollywood right yeah. now. You and know, it's, I, it's, it's it's Humble Origins in 2001 is like a crime street racing right. like drama that it's was like a, okay. It's like a Point good. Break remake almost. 100%. It, you know, Point Break remake to now where Fast Five, it's like this heist movie, right. Fast Six and Seven, they just keep Ocean's blowing up 11, the world. And all kinds of stuff, yeah. It's yeah. so much fun. So I love the series. And it's doing well. It, it, we, it's it's sun, we're recording the Sunday morning. Yeah, it, it $500 just, million. Dollars. It just wow. beat uh, Force, Awakens. Force Awakens. I think it's the biggest... Five, Five hundred thirty-two million dollars. Wow. Force Awakens at five hundred twenty-nine for the worldwide like gross, in one which weekend. is amazing. Because it opened at the same time and in China. I have to point this out too. Not in three D. No, Fate no. of the Furious does not have that little three D bump that Force Awakens did. You right. know what I mean? Like that's inc that's incredible. People, people love the series. People love yeah. the series in a big bad way. Uh, I think it, it, it's the self opera elements. It's that it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's that it simultaneously does and doesn't take itself seriously. It, yeah. it, it, it's it's <laughs> schlocky cheese, but it doesn't wink at you. Right. It doesn't yeah. like yeah. let you in. Like we're just all silly, right? Like it, yeah. it takes a dead because serious. Vin Diesel's takes it. Dead serious. Oh, man. <laughs> so great. He's going to win an Oscar for best pick. Yeah. Oh, good. Good for uh, him. Good for him. That's yeah. what makes it. And also, it's uh, hugely multicultural. Exactly. And that, they, that to um, me is the, is the key to the success of this franchise. Yes. Is the fact that there is a character that re kind of represents everyone globally. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. what makes people have such an in is the fact that it's not just Vin Diesel and Paul Walker now. You've got The Rock. You've got uh, mm -hmm. Sun Kang. You have Tyrese. You have mm -hmm. Ludacris. You have Michelle Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. You had Gal Gadot at one point. Mm -hmm. so now you have, you have the, the Brits with the, with the, with the Shaw now. brothers. Yeah. Yeah, Manuel, and, yeah. and, yep. and, and all these guys. So I think that's why it really resonates with people. It's 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 male, men, women from so many vast and different types of backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's I mean, even as being superheroes for man. other people, I, I just yeah. like for me, I, I love that about that because it has all those elements and it makes it just feel so much more alive and fun. Yeah, um, we should say before we move forward that this is going to be a spoiler review. Yes. So if you don't want to know the details of this movie, I feel like the trailer did a pretty good job of kind of hiding what the real storyline of this movie was. We're going to get into it now. Spoiler talk. There's your warning. Yeah, here it is. So, okay, so into it, we're talking about Dominic Toretto's kid for a second. I'm trying to do the movie math, okay? If Fast Five comes out in 2011, yeah. I think that movie was supposed to come out, in, or the movie takes place in 2009, 2010, somewhere in there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's when uh, Paul Walker and Mia get pregnant. Cut to Fast and Furious 6, which comes out 20... Well, well I think it's supposed to be that she got pregnant in Fast 4. Fast and Furious. In Fast and Furious, when they hook up again. 
when it's like right before he goes right, on but, the Mexican and then, yeah. border trip. And then as soon as they're on that trip, it, during the course of Fast Five, she tells him like, I'm pregnant. And yeah. then, because yes. she's like throwing up or whatever. So it's like a couple months when they're on the road kind of a thing. Like, we don't yeah. know. At least, yeah. And she's not really showing. And then by, I don't know when they have the kid. Is it in Fast Six? It's the opening of Fast Six, I think. Yes. That's the right. Opening of Six. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Like, you got to get to the hospital. Yeah, <laughs> like, they're we like gotta, racing. We're we having think, a baby. Well, yeah. That's the thing is like, the beginning of Fast Six makes us feel like it's the end of Fast Five because they yeah, talk about true, true, So that's happening around. 2011 whatever and then maybe some time passes because at some point in fast six uh um elsa pataki's character mm -hmm. uh um what's her name elena elena, elena and elena. vin diesel elena gets pregnant so but by then maybe the baby's already like a, like a couple years old because i'm trying to do the math of like when we meet the baby in fate of the furious it's not a four-year-old like brian and right. mia's no. but it's like a ba kid. it's like two years old yeah. maybe like it's a two-year-old here's year the old thing with fast and furious when it comes to math i know and, but it's like, practicality I'm like, i think I'm you like, kind of went out the window eh, after fast five i think so it's you like, can make it work still is all i'm can. saying i think you can make it work you can but you can but i don't think that's the point at that point you're just like yeah, why not? Well, so let, let, let's let's talk about it real quick. Um, mm -hmm. uh, generally, I think Fast Five, I, I don't know if everyone agrees, best. is the, oh, best, the best. Let's the best rank one. them all. Let's rank them best all right one. now. Best one. Second best? For me, Furious 7. Furious 7. For me, it's 6. But 6 and 7 are interchangeable. They're, they're, I put 6 and 7 up there because mm -hmm. then I go 3rd is 7. And for you, I'm assuming 3rd is 6? No, this. This. 8. Fate wow. of the Furious. Fate of the Furious is my 3rd. Okay. And then 4th is Fast 6. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's interesting. For me, so I, I will and say. Nobody cares about the rest. Well, but for the record, for me, it goes, order. it goes Tokyo Drift, then four, then one, then two. But nobody cares. Yeah, I, it's funny. Like, I was, I was telling somebody, like, this series has kind of become uh, Star Trek in a way, where mm -hmm. every odd one I like yeah. a lot, <laughs> and every even one is bad to pretty good. <laughs> right, um, right. And this is an odd one. And I, yeah. I, so um, one, three, five, seven. Yeah. And, and eight. Yep. And uh, six for me, I don't think six is bad, but I think it, it, it dips really hard in the middle. Yeah. Uh, and Man, I, when J.J. Abrams reboots the 11th one, it's going to be yeah. awesome. It's crazy. Young, Dominic and Brian, it's going to be great. Um, but yeah, this one, uh, this one uh, I liked a lot of things. I think the uh, sequence in New York with the cars, the so uh, automated cars, is is amazing. It was kind of terrifying. It was, it was, it was, it was really terrifying. terrifying. Uh, F. Gary Gray, who shot this, uh, yeah. was the director on this one. Just straight uh, out of Compton? Straight out of Compton. Great. Uh, set it off so, Friday. Um, Italian uh, job. Italian job. Wow. Uh, and he'd worked with Vin Diesel in A Man Apart. He'd worked mm -hmm. with The Rock on Be Cool. So he'd worked with some yeah, of his cast that's already. Right. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought he did a hell of a job. I thought yeah. that, but it's one of those things where it's like, and this is not what makes or breaks a vast film, but I think that New York sequence is so good and so high mm -hmm. that the ice stuff, which is the third act, which is good. Mm -hmm didn't equal out to how good that I agree. The, the New York balanced. stuff is as they opposed to Fast ice Five. Than New York. As opposed to Fast Five, yeah. where it's like the train sequence is great. Mm -hmm. All that other stuff is great. But then, the high thing is but the, the bank at the end with yeah, the vault. With the vault. Is the vault. So good. <laughs> Come on. So um there are sequences in this movie that I think are great. Yeah, the New York thing. I love the beginning in Havana. It yeah. was so like, ridiculous. It's everything you I want in a Fast and Furious movie it. in when five he, minutes. Spin yeah. the car around and going backwards. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got the pit bull music. Like, yeah. oh, it's got whoa, family. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and like, and you know, take he's, everything he, off you with know, the engine. <laughs> for some reason, like we all know, he's not going to take the dude's car, but instead, like right. turn him into an ally. Yeah. And then he right. shows up later, and you're just like, family, dude. Yeah. Like, you're yeah. like, yeah. Was my Corona? It's so great. It's so great. I love that. Um, I think like the the rock. So this, so this is where it gets a little bit in the negative, a little bit in the positive for me. Okay. Um, I love The Rock in general. I think he's great. Um, I, I think the day will come there will be some backlash because he's so present, and that's just what we do to our heroes. It will um, be when – oh, in the Fast and Furious movies? No, 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 in sure. general, in public. Oh, there will gotcha. eventually be a time where people are like, you know, like now everyone hates Jennifer Lawrence. There's going to be a time where people are going to be like, so be I'm done with The Rock. he's playing the genie in the live-action Aladdin. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be that day. Does he have to be in everything? Yeah. He's in everything. Um, you're going to hear that. Yeah. But my favorite version of The Rock uh, in these films is Fast Five Hobbs. Where what's, he the, is... what's the best part of Fast Five? God. When he punches Vin Diesel through the room and he goes – Spits and oh. then goes after him. I yeah. love that. That's not yeah. my favorite part. My favorite part is when he busts through the window in the pavilion. Yeah. Or, uh, or also or, when yeah. like, he throws the, the middle the, folder. The middle of the folder. Oh, yeah. Let me see that. It see doesn't this? matter what it says. There's yeah, just it, names it on a desk. Stay the then, fuck out of my way. That line, that's such a great line. I like her smile. Like he's so sweaty and so He's big. so sweaty. He's, so he's sweaty. massive. Uh, glossy as fuck. And they say about that character, Brian says in that movie, he's Old, he's old Testament. Yeah. He's Old Testament. He's going <laughs> to yeah. burn us all down. And I love that version of that character. Now, I'm not saying he needs to be the same forever. Right. But in six and seven, and in the beginning in this part with the soccer sequence, mm -hmm. 
Um, he kind of feels like he's just playing the rock and not Hobbs like, as a family man. Yeah, because I like the evolution of making him a family man because ultimately yes. that's what the series is about. They make everybody family men or women. Yes, they made Deckard Shaw, Jason Statham, a family person. So, so to, to allow this character connect with our with our characters. Yes. But I agree. I'm fine with him having a daughter. I thought his daughter in Seven was fantastic, a great I addition. Mm -hmm. But then keep talking about that uh, the beginning of the movie. Well, it sounds like like he smiles a lot, which is not that it's not that Hobbs shouldn't smile. I'm not saying that, but like if you watch the beginning of Part Six when he beats up that guy in the interrogation room, he mm -hmm. then looks at the mirror and goes. And smiles, and I'm yeah. like, Hobbs wouldn't have done that in part five. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. sure. The character kind of turned into The Rock. It felt like when the character, when Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone in the mid 90s were playing Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. Really popular. And yeah. they were like, isn't it funny that we're playing ourselves? And I'm like, it's not bad, but I like the Predator in mm -hmm. Rambo right. where yeah, you were yeah, playing yeah. characters. characters. Um, and I feel like this not movie. Caricatures. So the beginning part with the soccer sequence, I was like, oh, I, bet, I feel like a lot of this is probably improvised. And like, mm -hmm. The Rock is like, I gotta, I'm more about the soccer team and less about the government job. And I'm like, this is not the Old Testament guy mm -hmm. yeah. who would like, even at the, the, the sequence in Fast, Fast Five with Eva Mendes, where he's like, is it about Toretto? I don't give a shit. Yeah, kind of exactly. Like, like that character exactly. felt like it was gone. Yeah. But after the scenes where Dom turns on everybody and yeah. the prison sequence yeah. with him and Jason Statham, yeah. I was like, Hobbs is back. Yeah. <laughs> it was. I will awesome. beat you like a Cherokee <laughs> drum. <laughs> Anytime he calls Jason Statham boy, yeah. it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> it's so great. I'm going to put your teeth down your mouth so hard you're going to use your toothbrush up your ass. I had such a fun <laughs> time with that pubic movie. beard too. I had, oh, I know. I was also saying, like, as you're talking, Cameron, I'm like, back. I think for nine, he should bring back that pubic yeah, beard. And yeah. then we'll Puby have beard. the yep. best of both worlds where just the switch just dripping off of the, <laughs> dripping off of the beard. Yeah. I think I'm just going to really quickly say what I liked and didn't like about the movie. I think we're all kind of lining up with what we liked about it. Yes. Uh, the, some of the action sequences are great. I thought Charlize Theron was a great addition as a villain. I thought she was fantastic. And I love Helen Mirren. Super nitpick, hated, hated her. Oh, yeah, I know. I, it's it's awful. Know it wouldn't have stood out to me. It wouldn't have stood out to me if they didn't show a photo of her in yeah. the movie with oh, short, short hair. hair yeah. And I'd be like, how can the government not yeah. find this person? <laughs> Look at that crazy hair. I love the, I love Helen Mirren. I love that Helen Mirren. It's nitpicky, I admit it. That, 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 that uh, Helen Mirren she wants. Being mom. She wanted to be in these love movies. It. And so she ends up being the mom. And I'm love like, it. bring her back. Cockney, bring her back. Cockney ass. Yeah. So great. That scene so with great. Rock was probably like my, one of my favorite It was such a great movie. scene. I'm now, <laughs> all that stuff was great. Here's my uh, nitpicks, I guess. And here's my here's the things I didn't like about the movie. Nitpicks. I wanted more of uh, Tego and uh, what's oh, the other guy's Tigo name? Oh, Tego Calderon and uh, I forget the, uh, Omar. The character's name. Oh, God. The guys from Fast Five? Yeah, of course. Yeah. The guys from Fast Five. They're so I, great. I, I, I did love the reveal. I it was a great reveal. cameo. But like I heard they were going to be an eight, and I'm like, cool, they're going to be on the team. It's like hope that they bring them not, back. And I hope they bring them back. Yeah. The other thing too is that like I also am fine with them turning Vin Diesel and uh, and Michelle Rodriguez's characters into the family people. Now that he's got a son at the end of the movie, mm -hmm. he names him Brian. That got to me. I'm not even kidding. Yep. It oh, got, and I was they, like, that got me. When they mentioned him again, when uh, it was, was it Tyrese was like, we got to call Brian. Yeah, and Brian like, no, do. no, we, it's we what told we agreed him. on. Yeah. I love that. I, I think that was a great line. I think that was a great line. But for me, I want the movies to go back to because it's, it is getting silly and dumb and they're all silly and dumb, but I think we can still get to that fast five level. I think that then if they do another movie, when they do the next movie, it could still be better than five. If they go back to an ensemble thing, focus less on yes. the diesel. You know what I mean? Like just kind of peel him back a little bit the way that he's his family guy. Okay. Maybe he doesn't go on every mission. Maybe he doesn't, maybe he's not the, the through line, but rather it's more of an ensemble thing. Like the mission impossible movies turned into, yes. by the time we got to five, it was mm -hmm. like Simon Pegg, Tom Cruise, you know, Ving it was Rames, the, the, Ving Rhames. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The ensemble thing. Thing. Um, and the other thing that was my number one problem with it, here's the thing. I had a buddy who worked on this movie. For months, he knew about the film. He'd seen most of it. Yeah. He texts me and he goes, he texts me like a week ago. When you see the movie, let me know because there's one thing that I think you're going to react to strongly and I want to talk to you about it. And mm -hmm. he's been waiting to talk to somebody about it. I texted him and I'm like, was it the fight with the baby that you're talking about? And he goes... They would never forgive Shaw for killing Han, and I'm I, like, thank yep, you. That's yep. actually that's I, I my number one. Cameron and I talked about big yeah. picture like like problem with this movie is like, how are you gonna just completely not even talk about Han? The fact that Deckard Shaw killed him at the end of six brutally too, brutally, brutally. and I mean in the middle of Tokyo Drift, technically like right. all the way back in 2006 when that movie came out, and I feel like Han. As a character, I don't want him to come back to life. I don't want, but I want in the next movie for Deckard Shaw to basically own up to that. And if he's a part of the crew, for him to sacrifice himself and do something like, sorry about Ken and Han, and then kill himself to save the crew. And then I would be fine yeah, with it. But right that, now, I was like, nah, that doesn't sit right with that me. Was, yeah, that was, yeah, that was, storytelling wise, that was a major, uh, I had two major non, because I, I don't think that's a nitpick. I think that's a major no, thing. No, that's a major thing. My nitpick like, was more of Tigo and Omar, but a uh, major thing was, 
uh, come on. Yeah, that's a huge. That's like, and it, it didn't break the movie for me. I'll Correct. say that. Like I, yeah. every scene with Jason Statham, I thought was great. I love the plane sequence. I thought that was fun. Awesome. So funny. Um, I thought the prison sequence was my other favorite sequence. So outside good. The New York sequence was great yep. with him in the rock. Um, mm-hmm. I love all that stuff. Uh, and they try to kind of not excuse it, but do something within the movie by being it's about like family. That, it's like it's about family, but also like that cipher, cipher had been manipulating manipulating everybody. them. But uh, it's not like like there's a degree of it where that's very comic booky that your villains become your allies yeah. and stuff like that. Like yeah. we've seen Venom and all these other guys. Great. Usually though, there is a like Magneto. Magneto is like this guy in the comics killed people, did all these terrible things. But we had an established thing with him and Xavier already. There was a yes. begrudging respect and all these other things that wasn't really established with the Jason Statham character. I think there's a degree of like hoping that the general public who are not the people who are going to like rewatch the entire series right before yeah. the new one comes out <laughs> will just kind of go oh, Jason Statham was in the last one they might oh, not yeah. totally right, right, for right. sure uh, click, it, click all together yeah it's interesting because it's the same screenwriter from three to now yeah. Yeah. it's always been Chris Morgan, Chris Chris Morgan, Morgan has been like from part three to this one and he's doing I believe the next two so yeah my hope is that he realizes that that's a thing I'm sure like I hope enough people enough like tweet about that. it I hope enough people like you know hashtag so, what about Han like so that's this, what I want if it makes you feel any better about it there was an interview that came out with Jason Statham I think yesterday or today mm-hmm. and he he does say in that interview that the whole storyline between uh, of him killing Han, we have not seen the last of that. Like, Good. there's still oh. going to be repercussions. If to they that bring story. back Gal Gadot and like she's all like I, like p- p- partially yeah. scraped up face, <laughs> oh, like you kill her. Oh, I oh. would rather. Oh. It, what's your number one that you don't want them to bring back? Mine's Han. I would rather them bring back Al Gadot and not Han, but I don't think they're going to bring back Gal because she's Wonder oh, Woman. Paul so. Walker. <laughs> oh, Paul Walker. Don't ever bring back Digital Brian. No, they won't. They won't. <laughs> not even. Digital Brian. Not even. You know what I even don't want? I was afraid they're going to do this for this movie is have a scene where they call Mia and Brian and Brian's in the background uh, yeah. and we don't see his I'm head. I'm glad they did not do but that. But it's Mia just like, hey, we're just here. We're, we're just. Yeah. It's, I would like to know, see Jordana Brewster come back. I would like to, to see some extent. Me too. Um, and my other issue with this film uh is and I don't blame the actor. I blame the writing of this character. Scotty Eastwood. Uh, Scott Eastwood <laughs> is such a wet blanket, and I don't think it helps that just because you have Tyrese so making fun though. of him. I know, and you have Kurt Russell being like, "Ah, oh, this kid's it's isn't, a rookie, he's, isn't he's, he's rookie?" Wet. It he's still green. it still makes all of his scenes feel like a wet. Like part of the fun of these movies, the reason we wa- we go along with these movies is the at the end of the day, it's the characters. Like yeah. mm-hmm. the reason I love these movies and I'm not a fan of the resident evil series, which is equally silly mm-hmm. is there's importance placed on the characters and the dynamic and how mm-hmm. they click and get along. Like, um, Tej and, mm-hmm. um, Tyrese, Tyrese's so character, so which great. is so fun. Uh, so having a character that, that that's there, that's kind of like the school marm. That's like mm, 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 yeah. to everything. You're just kind of like, yeah. well, this isn't why I come Let's to these movies. Yeah. Yeah. Leave. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. And it did feel like, um, he sucks. Yeah, and uh, so hopefully I think they're going to bring him back because I, I think they want to fill that straight white guy quota now. I guess, or um, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Maybe he's replacing Kurt Russell and they're going to retire Mr. Nobody and he's going to be like, be the you new know, nobody. the new nobody. I don't know. And that'd be, that'd be my other little thing too is like you have Kurt Russell there and I felt like he was fairly uh, prominent in Part 7 in a good way. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one, it kind of felt like he was just sort of the exposition to then yes. walk off. Yes. And It's kind of the same um, thing with The Rock like in Furious 7. Furious 7, we didn't yeah. see a lot of The Rock. He was only there when he needed to be. Yep. Um, and, uh, I, uh, I also, uh, this is the funniest thing too, is like, I think the biggest thing people, the negative s- people say about part seven mm-hmm. is the hacker Ramsey sure. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not that it's bad, but it's just like, it doesn't rise above everything else that's in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it was so funny that like, I, like, and I openly admit as much as I love part seven, I kind of forgot about that stuff. So mm-hmm. when Ramsey appeared in this movie, I was like. Oh, he, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and then like, yeah. and the fact that it was another right hacker storyline. Right, right at the beginning, like Tyrese kind of said, I think that this was one good thing about the screenplay is that Tyrese was like, well, why don't we just use the God's eye? It's this impossible technology that we establish in part seven. Let's yeah. just use it to yeah. find the bad guy. And then they do, and then it gets hacked. Right. So I'm like, good on you to like explain, address that. to figure address that it, to figure yeah, it out, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, just yeah, move yeah. on. Like, uh, we can't use it. I did love the redhead guy from Game of Thrones. He was great. Charlie oh, Theron second bastard. is just like, he got killed. I was so happy. Um, God, that was a great moment when Vin Diesel showed up in the music, just like dun 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 yeah. dun dun. Uh, Michelle so Rodriguez great. was great in this movie, oh, yeah. and I was actually happy she got to do as much as she did because I will say the first twenty minutes, as much as I love that Havana sequence, love 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 that Havana sequence, there was an awful lot in the beginning of that movie of like Vin Diesel doing stuff, and then Michelle, a cut of Michelle, a cut to Michelle Rodriguez and her going. Yeah, just like <laughs> and with how like, good he is. Oh, yeah. please don't let this just be what she does. Yep. So well. <laughs> yep. It's like yeah. just he's like my man. Kind I of know. <laughs> but Adam, what did you? What did you? What's your overall take? Positives and negatives of the movie. Overall take. I mean, I had a really good time. I walked out of the movie. I think going into it for me, the biggest thing was I want to have fun. I want to be loud. And I want yeah. to be ridiculous because yeah. that's what the franchise has become. 
I always, I always knew going into it, it wasn't going to live up to what Fast Five had kind of done. I think that movie was kind of a lightning in a bottle. Yeah. Justin Lin, it was, it was kind of a perfect storm of scenarios introducing The Rock. I feel like they kind of had all the really good ingredients. Yeah. And 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 the series had kind of like went up and down, went up and down. Furious Seven, I think, with all the circumstances, I think James Wan did the best it's possible so job he could have done with with that whole situation it's so classy which is why i think that movie is so great the i'm gonna be real a beautiful send-off i'm gonna be real the mm-hmm. use of cg paul walker in that is better amazing than the use of cg characters in rogue one sure yeah that, like I they agree. overuse rogue one that's cg because it's wet and and in sphere yeah. seven it's so perfectly done yeah. there's entire scenes i was watching and with we abby were, and i was like that was a that was a false uh paul walker and she's like yeah, what and, we were, and it works and we were just watching fast five and i actually noticed the scenes that they actually lifted from fast five Whoa. into fast seven um, but in terms of Furious 7, I mean, I thought it was great that The, the Rock had a bigger presence in this movie compared to Furious 7. Yeah. I do think that he was that he is at that point where he's now playing a little bit more of The Rock than the Hobbs character, especially now going back and rewatching Fast 5. Yeah. To see how just like Old Testament he really is in that movie. Yeah. I would like to see that character come back. Um, I like the fact that they figure out a way to kind of fit Elsa Pataki into this movie. Her Me too. Line. And that I was, was sad. sad to see her go. Yeah. Um, I thought she was. I thought she was kind of a nice addition to the movie, who kind of be back and forth in and out of the series. There's a great uh, article on Birth Movies Death about that character called like the most put upon character in the Fast series. <laughs> that you should definitely bummer. go read. It's very mm, funny. It's a real bummer. Yeah. Um, and I think the one the one big thing for me was as the movie ended, I really felt the absence of Paul Walker. Yeah, the, yeah, you do feel that uh, that uh, you know it's like it's like a sitcom on a TV show. Yeah. It's like if you remove one of the friends from Friends, yeah, you know, it's not just putting another friend in there. Right. There's a dynamic that those people have, and there's yeah, also something broken. that that character brings. And the thing that Paul Walker kind of brought was he was the heart of that team. And yeah. especially if you watch Part Five, of course, totally, you see he's the connective tissue to all the characters yes. that become yes. this Avengers team. Mm-hmm. And with him gone, mm-hmm. there is like. You do feel like you're missing that affable mm-hmm. character. Absolutely. Yeah. I, there was nothing better than his facial expressions when they would get into a dicey situation or a crazy action bit, or even when yeah. he's like in a car, like this face of him that he does. It's yeah. so great. And it's <laughs> like, <laughs> Scott Eastwood's too handsome to even do that. Yeah. But also, he'd be the one like, like laughing when they like yeah, dodge exactly. a bomb. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And, I got and you. Going back you and rewatching the whole series, just talking about Paul for a second, and you can really tell because of Scott Eastwood, yeah. is that Scott Eastwood, you can blame some of the writing, certainly, but he still has something that Paul Walker. We would never watch those movies and go, he's such a phenomenal actor in these. The general Despite affability. That, it's, he's so likable. Yeah. He's so charismatic. This was before he passed away. Right. People felt this about Paul Walker. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he yeah. was everybody's dude and we loved him. And then to lose that element was so tragic. But when they try to bring in other energies, you can you you miss it, like totally. you're saying. You miss yeah. that. Well, I, think that Cameron, I think Cameron's right. You know, Paul Walker, he really was the center of this. He was the center of this franchise, and then it kind of got passed over to Vin Diesel, who started producing these movies. Mm-hmm. But you always had Paul Walker right there next to him to kind of really carry this whole franchise forward. Now, without him there, you're right. I mean, without Paul Walker, there would be no Ludacris, there would be no Tyrese, and you wouldn't have the characters that come off of that spin off of that. Yeah. Um. So I definitely felt it, and it, it's nice to know that at least there was some mention of these characters. I would like yeah. to see Jordana Brewster come back in some sort of a capacity. Yeah. I mean, I don't think she needs to. I don't think. Unless, unless it serves the story, yeah. I don't know if she necessarily needs to be in the entire movie for Fast 9 or Fast 10. Right. Um, but if she has some sort of a presence, uh, then it I would think be that nice. would be really great. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the Jason Statham character, yeah, I do hope that they do try to wrap up his story and the repercussions of him killing Han. Mm-hmm. Uh, Luke Evans is obviously brought back into this franchise. But yeah. I don't want this series to end about being about the Shaw family necessarily. More villains? Yeah, like I don't mm-hmm. I don't necessarily think that you can do... Well, Charlize th- gets away. She does. It's worth yeah. She does. She does get away. Um, I would love for them to go back and do the reverse Avengers or the Masters of Evil, if you will, the sure. Legion of Doom, and get a villain from each movie. Totally. The bad guy in That's Too Fast Too Furious say, is yeah. still in jail. We could get, um, uh, what's his name, Johnny Tran, I think, from mm-hmm. from, the, from, the, from the first one. He didn't die, did he? Johnny I can't Tran? remember. But like a villain from each of the movies. I think he did. Actually, I think Johnny I think Tran think does that, yeah. Whatever, and then bring back Sonny Chiba from Tokyo Drift for just a second, just to, just to him, to, just for him to say like, no thanks, Charlize Theron when she's trying to recruit him or something, something. But, I but think I just, that's nope. the thing. Vin Diesel had said this was supposed to be the start of a new trilogy. trilogy yeah, sure. So, and I think yeah. that's the interesting thing. I think that's the way you could kind of go. You could kind of see what this organization really is. What is Charlize Theron? What are the Shaw bro- like mm-hmm. are the, the Shaw brothers really a part of? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it a bigger thing? Is it a bigger threat? What could it be? And then I think that's how you really should cap off nine and ten, and then be done with it. Yeah, I love the Fast and Furious franchise. Yeah. After the 10th movie, I think it should end. Mm-hmm. I don't think that this franchise can last 
with just Vin Diesel. Now that we have The Rock and Vin Diesel having these behind the scenes problems, mm -hmm. we don't even see scenes with Vin Diesel and The Rock together anymore. Um, hmm. Well, they're talking about Hobbs going to get a spinoff. Sure, uh, yeah, so Hobbs going to get a spinoff. But yeah. like, we hardly get to see, and, and like that was the thing. In Fast Five, when Vin Diesel and The Rock had their scene together, them fighting, yeah. and then them coming back together and having this camaraderie, I did like it, and I feel like that was missing. We yeah. got to see little bits and pieces of them in the same sequence together, but not actual, I don't, I, to my to my memory, I don't think they actually have a dialogue scene together. Well, is it, is it a case, of, do you think maybe, and this will be interesting to see what happens with the next two without Brian, is there a case to be made that perhaps like, oh God, I like the guy, but th that Vin Diesel might be the most boring character? So yes. So that, that, having the storylines yes. around him are not is not going to work. And if you're making him have a baby, the same way that Brian's character had a kid, retire him in Letty. Or at least Let minimize the their, oracles of the of yeah. Just have the rock minimize now the role, the and the team. the new lead is now Hobbs. The new lead is I don't know, like even Tyrese and Tej. Like that's yeah. ridiculous. But like, but 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 focus more on the on the uh, the the team element of it, the ensemble cast of it. Right. And um, I, I think that I think that those are weaker characters of all the characters. I want to sure. see more from the other characters. I want to hear you know have more interactions with yeah. other side characters. I mean, God, man, I, I would even I would even like it. I mean, it's never gonna happen. But like, I think Letty's a really really cool, intriguing character. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I would love to see her have more than just being. I mean, she in, in previous movies she's been more than just Dom's girl. Yeah, but I feel like in this movie it was a little bit more of that, and her really trying to win him back. It was a little awkward with the wife, Ellen, the, the, the fact that she, that they're Elena. married and she's the wife, but right. then at the beginning she sees him just like pick up a child, yeah. smile, and put the child down, and she's yeah, like, yeah. "Man, I wonder about that." I'm like, "Great, they're gonna have kids, but yeah, like yeah, she's yeah. gonna be pregnant." Like, yeah. and that's fine. That's still uh, like a character, mm -hmm. you know, direction. But sure. at the but same time, a, but she did in the uh, in the submarine sequence have a kick ass fight scene where she threw that guy in the fucking propeller. I'll say that's oh, the other yeah, good. that's that the other thing good. too about this movie that's fascinating yeah this is and i, I don't know if there's f gary gray, f gary gray uh directing mm -hmm. um this is the first time i think like i felt like the presence of pedestrians yeah in oh. these movies yeah that's yeah. like true. even part six with the tank mm -hmm. vin diesel jumps in there and he's like save the other people yeah, yeah, yeah. and this movie they are mowing down russians and people in New left York, right. like yeah. left and right. And I'm like, this is fascinating to me. <laughs> yeah. Then the eighth film is the film we're going to be like, let's yeah. really try and like give some attention to I pedestrians. Mean, Fast Five, I mean, Fast Five, when we're watching them driving through Rio with that safe, mm -hmm. you're so focused on the cars and the safe, you forget mm -hmm. about the people. They well, don't Justin Lin specifically shows yeah. people moving out of the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, you don't yeah. see people getting plowed by the no, safe. No, 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 no. Yeah. But I mean, I think, I think, I think at the did. end of the day, this oh, yeah. movie was really, really fun. I had a really good time with it. I yeah. do think that I didn't live up and I don't think it was as good as it could have been. Sure. And I don't know exactly what the reasoning for that is. Was the behind the scenes stuff with The Rock and Vin Diesel that may have yeah. shifted things around? I don't know. I'm not is asking. Because, yeah, is, I don't know. It's because of the loss of, of Paul Walker not having him in this franchise. I don't want it to be smarter per right, se, right? right? It's no, like, no, it's, no, I'm no. not mad at it for Some being of the like jokes didn't really work for movie. me either. Uh, there, there was some stuff with Tyrese's character that normally Tyrese is like 100%. There was some things that were written that I was like, mm, well, I think a lot of it had a I, I think for me, a lot of that, a lot of his jokes were aimed at the Scott Eastwood character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was just that degree of like, well, I want Wasn't this guy here anyway. Yeah, 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 get him yeah. out of here. Get him out of here. Who cares? Make fun of Tej. Make fun sure, of Tej. Sure. And I, if they're going to keep Kurt Russell around, I'd like to see Kurt Russell have more of a role yeah. in this movie. I want him to actually be on the battlefront like he was in Furious 7. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm still looking forward to the last two, but I really oh, yeah. do hope that 9 and 10 of the last ones, so the tagline of this series can be 20 years, 10 movies, one saga. And be done. Damn. Uh, that's so, pretty good. do we want to see F. Gary Gray come back? Yeah, I'd be down. I would love Justin Lin wrapped up ten. Ooh, that would he? I mean, he deserves it. He deserves it absolutely. I look, if he wanted to. I, absolutely. I, I, this may be crazy. I want to yeah. see another writer come in sure. to help Chris Morgan. I want to see Chris Morgan like write a script and then somebody else come in and be like, "All right, let me take a second pass at this sure. and then see what we get." That would be mm. really interesting. I would. I wouldn't mind. Um, since there's only two more left, I wouldn't mind seeing Rob Cohen come back and maybe doing one of these. And he did the first one. He did the first one. Yeah. He did the first Triple X. I think he'd be I, out of his I, element. I, dude. I don't want to. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, maybe, hey, the maybe movies are now crazy. Might be too crazy now. <laughs> he did yeah. the Mummy Three. With yeah. Jet Lee. Okay, but you know I don't what? Know. But I, I would actually really like to see Justin Lin come in and do For the sure. one to wrap this out. I really feel like Justin Lin is the one who gave this Agreed. gave this a franchise a pulse, Agreed. a second life. Yeah. yeah. So. Agreed. I don't know. We'll see. But and we'll see I just want Brian Star Tyler Trek. to keep doing the score and the music. Oh yeah, Brian Tyler does a killer. Oh yeah, let me talk about killer. the soundtrack. The soundtrack is great. If you all, if you love the Fast and the Furious soundtracks, this mm -hmm. one's just as good. Been listening to it along with the new Kendrick album a lot the last mm -hmm. three days. He's been doing it, I think, since Fast Five, right? Or did uh, he do Fast and Furious? Uh, I think he did. 
Uh, I don't remember. Oh, someone shit, let us know. I think yeah, he did three, dude. I think he did Tokyo Drift. Okay. The score. Yeah. So I think he's been doing all of them. Maybe he didn't do four. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Or maybe six. But whatever. I think but my final thoughts great. on the movie is I think it was really good. I don't think it was as good as as I don't know. It's I don't want to say I don't think it was as good as Fast Five because I don't think that that's what they're trying to do. I think they're just yeah. trying to make a really right. entertaining and fun movie. Mm-hmm. I think that some of the jokes in land. I would like to see Hobbs be more of the Fast Five Hobbs. Doesn't mean he can't evolve his character, but I want a little bit more of being like fifty fifty, being like the Rock and Hobbs. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to see the the the. The storyline of, of the Shaw brothers kind of wrapped up. I love Helen Mirren. I'd love to see more of her yes. in eight if she does come mm-hmm. back or in yes. nine, excuse me, uh, if she comes back. Um, but overall, it's a really good time. There's, there, I'm not going into the Fast and the Furious franchise to have some mind-blowing experience. I'm going in there to have fun, no. for people to yeah. laugh, for people to cry, for people to just enjoy themselves. And if to you, be in the theater with a really diverse group of people yes. to, to enjoy characters that we've all come to love. If you go to that theater, if you go to a theater to see this movie that doesn't serve alcohol, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> go to a theater that serves yeah. alcohol and have a couple drinks. Have a cool it's, it's, I did. It's the Saturday morning cartoon we get every two years. Yep. Yes. Is what it is. Yep. Uh, and not every episode of G.I. Joe was great. So that's okay. Right. And right. that's okay. Yeah. Uh, this was, yeah, this was still fun. I still recommend seeing it. The prison sequence, the New York sequence uh, alone, I think is great. I forgot um, about the prison sequence. It's so I, I, dope. Yeah, the, the, the action scenes in this, I think, are great. The baby fight airplane so sequence. So awesome. funny. How you doing, little man? <laughs> it was the yeah. funniest Jason shit. Statham was like one of the better parts of this movie. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Really he came out of nowhere. Uh, and then Vin Diesel randomly yelling with some yeah. of that stuff. Yeah. Was like, yeah. it had me rolling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's dramatic. It's dramatic, Cameron. <laughs> Tears. Yeah. Oh, my God, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, um, I, yeah, I liked it. Same. Yeah, same, same. same bring same, bring same. on the next one. Bring on 9 and 10. Bring it on, bring it on. Well, we got, I think by 2021, we'll be wrapped out with all 10 movies. So <laughs> we got a couple more years to go. Guys, let us know in the comments below what you thought about Fate of the Furious. Did it live to your expectations? Did it exceed them? Was it lower? Uh, where does it rank within the Fast and Furious mm-hmm. franchise? This is the eighth mm-hmm. movie. And who's two your favorite more character? Who's your favorite character? Who's your favorite character? Mine's still Han. Who would you actually like to see come and direct the last two films? You want to see F. Gary Gray continue? You want to see Justin Lin come back? Maybe James Wan after he does Aquaman? Yeah. Let us know. I'd be really curious to, to see who you guys' picks are for director. Uh, in the meantime, make sure you guys subscribe right here. YouTube.com slash HyperRPG. We're doing a whole bunch of movie reviews, trailer reactions. A bunch of other stuff. Thursday, dropping Thursday or Friday, commentary track we did uh, for Fast, Fast Five. Fast Ooh, five. Yep. Nice. It was the two of us, uh, Whitney Moore, Elizabeth Hayhurst, and uh, Jesse, Whitney's boyfriend, who uh, the, the fun part, let's let, uh, let's uh, pitch this. Jesse loves the series, seen every one of them. Wit, that was her first, first ever Fast yeah. Anything. Oh, God. Fast well, five. that's not the worst first one to do, but, no. oh, but well, actually, not, that, we, we do discover not completely, un- not completely true because she did do the Universal Studios ride. Yeah. <laughs> so her uh, fast experience is Universal Studios. Geez. And fast That's five. Fast five. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Also, guys, make sure you guys check out the live program that we do here on Hyper RPG. 70 hours of live programming every single week, Monday through Friday. Twitch.tv slash Hyper RPG. Cameron, where can everybody find you? You can find me Twitter, Instagram, uh, Letterbox, all those kinds of things at Jurassic Alien. And you can find me on the internet at Hector is Funny on Twitter and Instagram. And I love you very much. <laughs> you just find me at Adam Havoc, all the social media channels. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next review. Bye. Bye.